at all your favorite hats at the same time? Well, we wouldn't either. That is why we suggest you use only what you need. Switch off all electrical appliances and lights in a newsroom. Remember, use only what you need and save power today. Switch and save. Zesco, powering the nation. Apple Max. Take it to the max. If a picture is worth a thousand words. Ah, mom, this boy is a handful. As if you were any different. Then what about a memory? of stories. Wash away the dirt and not the memories with Boom Bubble Plus Washing Powder. Let the memories away. Boom and the dirt is gone. Introducing the Smart Kicker from iConnect, the most affordable smartphone on the market. With a photo focus capable 2 megapixel camera, you can't miss out on any of the action. Over 400 hours of standby battery time and 32 gig external memory. That's more than enough space for all your series, music, pics, apps and games. Get yours today from iConnect for a limited offer of only 499 kwacha, including 300 MB iSpot internet from iConnect. The Smart Kicker, available at iConnect. iConnect, make it happen. The big day everybody and tonight we'll witness history in the making y'all. Makitu all the way from Kukopala versus Slavdism and Nizzo. Here's what you all been missing. Monster flows, fire flows, long I'm a kitchen. Flavor I cook so gang you a bang at decision. Bigger than us, me and you and the mission. Down with your mind international, you man got the yeah, but they have to know. Nobody on the corner got swagger like us, but the yeah, other one is bigger than us. This moment is bigger than us. He has to cool it like who is bigger than us. Both of us, me and you, is bigger than us. Bigger than us. Monster pops are not just big, they're monster big. Try out our wacky fusion, magic forest, tongue painter, and black forests. Monster pops, the biggest pop in town. Want to just get out of town with your friends and family? Are you having a corporate getaway and have no adequate transport? Then this here is what you need to listen to. A brand new 35-seater Yutong luxury bus is now up for hire at an affordable and negotiable rate. It comes fully equipped with aircon, TV for your relaxation, music soothing your trip, and DVD players to give you variety. Book now by calling 0955. 0966 or 977-844-141. What makes the new Yo-Yo Chipsy so unique? 100% natural ingredients. Nothing artificial.
potato chips. We know you'll love them. Hey girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you for just a minute. Where you live and what you like to do? Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. Okay, I'm just trying to get with someone real because you look so free. So let's chill. Have a drink with a guy like me. Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. A quality product from Californian Beverages. Thank you so much for making your time with us and welcome to Prime TV's main news. To begin, we look at the headlines. Government's plan for a military plant with Shackman Company sends shivers. Government calls on Sadiq to intervene in South Africa xenophobia. MEF concerned over sentiments by Chawama MP to legalize brothels. And in foreign news, Zuma faces pressure to end violence in South Africa these and other stories coming up after this. My name is Daniel Tonga. People's Party has asked government to be specific on the market demand in trying to establish a military hardware factory in Zambia. People's Party says people would like to know why government is planning to set up a military plant with a Chinese company. The party indicates that PF government needs to answer the nation's challenges and priorities like education, food and medical services. This reaction follows a story that government is discussing with Shackman Company of China on possibilities of setting up a plant in Zambia. Now, earlier on, I spoke to People's Party President Mike Mlongoti about Zambia's plans and he began by telling us what the plant that the plant has raised more questions than answers. About Zambia pondering the setting up of a military plant cannot go unchallenged because it raises more questions than answers. Uh, is that the priority for Zambia? How will it help Zambia in the search for food on the table? Priorities in health sector, education, it might create a little bit of unemployment, but again, where is the market for this transport? The troop carriers, do we have sufficient troops in Zambia to warrant setting up a factory for production of trucks for their carrying of these troops? What would be logical would be to have a plant to produce commercial trucks that will benefit many Zambians. Are we being told that there is a little more to this than they are saying. Uh, we suspect that there could be intentions to manufacture arms. And if that is the intention, what is the intended market? Because these are weapons of violence. 
Meanwhile, Mr. Mlongoti has condemned the xenophobic attacks that have continued in South Africa. Mr. Mlongoti says what people have seen is a tip of an iceberg, adding that South African government should move in to stop the attacks. He adds that the attacks have also much to do with how the government was giving out land in South Africa to foreigners. Mr. Mlongoti has warned that even the Zambian government needs uh, to be careful on how they give out land land to foreigners. He says similar attacks happened even in Zimbabwe where white farmers had their land grabbed away from them. Mr. Mlongoti was speaking in an interview with Prime TV in Lusaka. The signs were already on the board because the majority of black people in South Africa have been complaining about the disadvantage over land and in 2008 there was an eruption where there was violence against foreigners. What you are seeing happening is the tip of the iceberg because uh, there was a time when they, they were talking about Zimbabwe having claimed their land and they were thinking that they should also claim their land back from those who took it away from them. This must be a lesson to us as Zambians as well. In the manner we are giving land to people who come to stay with us. When you give a person a nine-year lease, by the time that lease lapses, all of us will not be there, we'll have that will be dead. Why don't we give shorter leases then, if we want them so much, so that they can do their work and finally hand back the land? Transport, Communications, Works and Supply Minister Yamfa Mukanga says all the road projects that have stored due to lack of funds will resume in the next few weeks. Mr. Mkanga says while it is true that some projects had uh, come to a halt due to lack of money, the government remains committed to complete all the projects that were started by the late President Michael Satam. The government embarked on a five-year ambitious road construction project under Link Zambia 8000 in 2012, which is expected uh, to be done in three phases at a cost of more than 5.5 billion United States dollars. Recently, there have been widespread concerns and speculations that many road projects have stored while others have been abandoned because the government has not paid the contractors. A traditional councillor, Edwin Zulu, has backed cause by Mpika District Commissioner Catherine Chileshe to chase women who drink from bars and taverns. Mr. Zulu says it is sad that women have now resorted to drinking beer every day, an action which has resulted in broken marriages. He says it is time that now women need to change their attitude and stop drinking alcohol to improve their families. Mr. Zulu has pointed out that chasing women from bars and taverns will help stop the habit of women drinking beer. He was speaking in an interview with Prime TV in Osaka. Mr. Zulu says moral fabrics of society have been destroyed as a result of women drinking care carelessly. Suddenly, and very bad that women have lost their culture. Women are drinking so much, especially the young ones. We don't know where we're heading to as a nation, as a culture, as a country. But most uh, people are calling for a ban against women drinking or smoking. I think it's also very important that we need to go back to our roots and see what is happening a long time ago. What is happening a long time ago is that women were never allowed to smoke or drink beer. You know, they could only drink beer or mukoro at the funeral, after the funeral, or uh, at, at a wedding, or at a birthday of a child born. Those were only rare occasions when they could drink beer, mukoro, and these other intoxicating liquors. But all these were meant to be drunk by men. But it's sad that these days the young ladies, especially the children ones, even the non-educated ones, are the ones that drink beer now. Government says it is working hard to ensure that the remaining bags of rice that have not been collected by Food Reserve Agency FRA in Zambezi district of northwestern province are collected. Agriculture and Livestock Deputy Minister Grayford Monde says collection of the rice grains is currently underway and is likely to be completed soon. Mr. Monde says his ministry is working to ensure that all the grains are collected 
and used for the intended purpose before they can go to waste. He says failing to secure crop yield is a sign of not being grateful to God for the abundance of food production. Northwestern Province Minister Dawson Kafoya recently unveiled a scam where over 9,000 by 50 kilogram bags of rice bought by FRA from farmers in Zambezi were not collected from the area since 2011. And now we take our first break. Stay with us if you can for other interesting stories coming up. Starts with a single seed. Patience. My hell. Eat well, drink well, feel good. Would you wear all your favorite hats at the same time? Well, we wouldn't either. That is why we suggest you use only what you need. Switch off all electrical appliances and lights in a newsroom. Remember, use only what you need and save power today. Switch and save. Zesco, powering the nation. What's your name? Let me talk to you for just a minute. Where you live and what you like to do? Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. Okay, I'm just trying to get with someone real cause you look so free, so let's chill. Have a drink with a guy like me. Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. A quality product from Californian Beverages. Fun. <laughs> Style. Freshness. Great taste. It's here. It's fun. It looks cool. And it tastes great. Are you ready? Shake, 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 shake and sip. Introducing Shake and Sip, the new irresistibly smooth fruity milk. Welcome back and now other stories. Zimbabwean sex workers have invaded the country masquerading as cross-border traders selling a variety of merchandise. At night, however, the women shift from being respectable business persons 
to sex workers are parading in the streets of Lusaka Township and patronizing lodges and guest houses. The Zimbabwean sex workers have particularly found a haven in Chawama and Kuku Townships where they lodge at two guest houses commonly known as Katete and Blawayo. Residents of the two townships say men from Chawama, Kuku and other parts of Lusaka had been flocking to these guest houses in a bid to have a good time with the Zimbabwean sex workers. Many of these sex workers prefer Chawama, which has become more like a gold mine because men there prefer the Zimbabwean prostitutes to their Zambian counterparts. Now, Movement for Economic Freedom, MEF, has castigated newly elected member of parliament for Chawama, Lawrence Sichalwe, calling for brothels to get licenses. MEF Secretary General Regan Mubatsa says it is sad that a newly elected MP can be talking of legalizing brothels. He adds that it is disappointing that Mr. Sichalwe can go to the media and start calling for these brothels to be legalized. Mr. Mwasa was speaking in an interview with Prime TV in Lusaka. He has charged that people are in need of development and not what Mr. Sichalwe is promoting. Mr. Sichalwe is reported to have told the media that brothels need to get licenses for them to operate legally. In the morning at Pan-African Radio, there was a statement which he issued saying that the brothels that are running in, in Chawama need to get licenses for those businesses to operate. And just from the way it go, the aspect of brothels in this country does not fall anywhere near constitutionality because that law is not provided for. So we are quite set aback by his stance. Where is he getting the powers? to say those brothels are supposed to, to have licenses. So we see that uh, Honorable uh, Sichalwe is just supporting immoral activities. If anything, the, the Lusaka City Council must uh, go in that place and check exactly what is transpiring and bring down those activities. The society is being corrupt day and night. The society is morally set aside because of the support by such kind of you know uh, a leader and to this effect we are calling on uh, honorable sichalo to retract that statement and to government says there is nothing more it can do to help and uh, end xenophobia in south africa other than appealing to that country's government to sort out the problem Chief Government Spokesperson Chishimba Kambuili says the xenophobic attacks being perpetrated in South Africa is that country's internal security matter and therefore the onus of resolving it remains on its government. Mr. Kambuili, who is also Information and Broadcasting Services Minister, says the only help the Zambian government has given in this case is to request SADIC to intervene. He says Sadiq has to this effect taken an initiative in addition to the statement that AU has made with respect to attacking of foreign nationals in South Africa. We are now taking our second break. Join us for some sports and international news when we return. What makes the new Yo-Yo Chipsy so unique? 100% natural ingredients. Nothing artificial. Just a pure experience of freshness.
the cook? No, 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 no. Remember what I always tell you? Wash your hands. Okay. Whoa. Mm. Dad, this is a jam freezer. Go wash your hands. Good personal hygiene is important at all times. That's why medical experts recommend Romeo Plus medicated soap. It eradicates over 97% of harmful germs. Healthy families use Romeo Plus medicated soap. Romeo Plus medicated soap. Love, care, protect. Shake, 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 Yo tele la mouche, il y a ma flavor, yo si yana, yo se mi ya buino hans, y pasan pam, o sa tayanda, we es a shake and see, yo kumwana panchana, anza ko osi, pasa ko ambu yena ma kolo ako, ilimbi sa tu, y kondwe sa an, o sa tayanda, we es a shake and see, shake and sip, when fresh meets fruity. Welcome back now in foreign news. A crowd of displaced foreign nationals has heckled South African President Jacob Zuma during his visit to a makeshift shelter as he tried to address mounting pressure to end the deadly anti-immigration attacks in the country. In a meeting on Saturday with some 1,400 foreigners waiting for repatriation, Zuma said government would deploy police to every area to ensure safety. The crowd, however, did not take warmly to that promise and chanted no in response. Earlier on Saturday, Zuma cancelled his trip to Indonesia to attend the Afro-Asia Summit to deal with the violence at home. In his speech to the displaced foreigners, he said that the South African government was not chasing them away. Pope Francis has called on the European Union and the international community to do more to help Italy cope with unprecedented numbers of migrants rescued in the Mediterranean during journeys on smugglers' boats to flee war, persecution and poverty. With his popularity and deep concern for social issues, the Pope gave Italy a boost in its lobbying for Brussels and northern EU countries to provide more assistance. On Saturday, towns in the southern island of Sicily were running out of places to shelter the migrants, including 11,000 arrivals in the past eight days. At least another 400 people are known to have drowned. Days of calm seas, good weather combined with increasing violence in Libya are cited as factors in the current surge in migration. Since the start of 2014, Italy has rescued nearly 200,000 people at sea. For these and other stories, we monitored Al Jazeera. There's been fierce street-to-street -street fighting in the Yemeni port of Aden. The defense ministry is saying that hundreds of people have been killed in the city since Saudi-led airstrikes began 25 days ago. There are also reports that fighters loyal to the president, Abu Rabu Mansour Hadi, have laid siege to an airbase. Thousands of people are fleeing fighting in the Iraqi city of Ramadi. The military is trying to drive out the Islamic State of Iraq and Levant. The group has captured three villages on the outskirts of Ramadi, which is about 110 kilometers west of Baghdad. The South African President Jacob Zuma has vowed to end violence against migrants, urging foreigners to stay in the country. Police have fired rubber-coated steel bullets at anti-immigrant protesters in Johannesburg in the latest unrest. In Afghanistan, the UN says women who are victims of violence are struggling to get justice. A report says that while there is a legal framework in place for such cases, it only provides limited options. Only 5% of the cases resulted in criminal prosecution. 
Critics of the Cuban government are standing as candidates in municipal elections for the first time since the 1959 revolution. Voting is set to get underway later on Sunday. President Raul Castro began introducing wide-ranging reforms in 2010, promising changes to the electoral system. And now in sports. FAZ has confirmed appointing veteran Nchanga Rangers trainer Phaeton Simukonda as Zambia's assistant coach. Simukonda, 57, joins the Hona Janza Lechi Polo Polo bench ahead of Zambia's participation at next month Kosafa Cup in South Africa. FAZ spokesman Nkweto Tembe confirmed one of the kept secrets on Saturday. Simukonda replaces Dutch coach Nicola Bom who assisted Janza during the 2015 Africa Cup qualifier and at the actual tournament in Equatorial Guinea. This is the third time Mukonda is serving as a Chipolopolo assistant coach. An interim coach, an in, as interim coach, uh, Simukonda guided Zambia to winning the 1998 Kosafa Cup in Zimbabwe. He has won the first Super League title three times as a coach. And as we conclude the news, we now take a look at what made the headlines. Government's a plan for a military plant with a Shackman company sends shivers. Government calls on Sadiq to intervene in South Africa, xenophobia. MEF concerned over sentiments by Chawama MP to legalize brothels. And in foreign news, Zuma faces pressure to end violence in South Africa. And that's just about what we had on the news. Thank you so much indeed for your time. This has been Daniel Tonga. Bye-bye for now. Mom, this boy is a handful. As if you were any different. Then what about a memory? Time of stories. Wash away the dirt and not the memories with Boom Bubble Plus washing powder. Let the memories fade away. Boom, and the dirt is gone. It's the big day, everybody, and tonight we'll witness history in the making, y'all. Maki two all the way from Kukopala versus Slapdism and Nizzle. What you all been missing? Monster flows, fire flows, no mama kitchen. Flavor you could so can you upon a decision? Bigger than us, means you and the mission. Down with your mind international, you man got the yeah, but they have to know. Nobody on the corner got swagger like us, but the yeah, the one is bigger than us. This moment is bigger than us. He at the Kuri Laku is bigger than us. Most of us, me and you, is bigger than us. Bigger than us. Monster Pops are not just big, they're monster big. Try out our wacky fusion, Magic Forest, Tongue Painter, and Black Forest. Monster Pops, the biggest pop in town. You see, I have never fought with a lion. I have never hunted through the forest in pursuit of food, but I do have the fighting spirit. Because for decades, 
My people fought for freedom. And in 1964, we won. I love to do the Fwemba, the Kalela, the Kwasa Kwasa. I wear Chitenge. So does my girlfriend. I eat crisps, not crisps. I love Nsima, Kapenta, Chihuahua, Delele. I'm Josh, and I'm proud to be Zambian. I connect. Celebrating 50 years of Zambia's independence. Hashtag only for Z. I connect. Make it happen. It starts with a single seed. Nations. Attention to detail. I'm a sip sip my hell. Eat well, drink well, feel good. Hey girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you for just a minute. Where you live and what you like to do? Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. Okay, I'm just trying to get with someone real because you look so free. So let's chill. Have a drink with a guy like me. Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. A quality product from Californian Beverages. Shake and sip the new irresistibly smooth fruity milk. Would you wear all your favorite hats at the same time? Well, we wouldn't either. That is why we suggest you use only what you need. Switch off all electrical appliances and lights in a newsroom. Remember, use only what you need and save power today. Switch and save. Zesco, powering the nation. Conjunction with Zamtel presents...